This is a combat ground drone from the 5th Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. Here you can see it maneuvering around destroyed armored vehicles on the road and suddenly attacking Russian military positions. Its fire is guided by a drone in the sky. The enemy couldn't understand what had arrived and where it was shooting from. The drone is the size of an ATV and it can only be heard from about 30 meters away. We just silently entered the grey zone and fired on their positions. The commander of the unmanned ground system platoon, with the call sign Agronom, and his fellow soldier, with the call sign Moped, showed RFRL's current time crew the workshop where they improved their combat machines. Ground drones don't only support infantry with fire. They can also lay mines on the battlefield, deliver supplies and ammunition to positions, and even evacuate the wounded from the front line. Since this is a tracked version and is less bumpy than a wheeled one, it can be used to evacuate people. For example, if there is someone in the bunker who can load the wounded person onto the vehicle, it will be much safer for us to evacuate them. And it has remote control, so it can be operated from a relatively safe distance. This means it's easier to send it on a mission to avoid risking the lives of soldiers. In reality, controlling an unmanned robot is not as difficult as it seems at first glance. The key is to get used to the control panel. After that, it's just a matter of habit. But right now, all the attention in the workshop is focused on this small kamikaze drone. It drives a little better now. Where it used to flip over, it no longer does. And it handles sharp obstacles a bit better. But there are still issues with power. We've improved its mobility, but it still lacks the necessary power. Ground drones are not yet used as actively on the battlefield as marine or aerial drones. However, these all-terrain vehicles have their own advantages on the ground. It can be used at any time of day and in any weather. This is the main advantage compared with aerial drones. When we face complications, we don't have any of these issues. Also regarding EW, it can be activated for 15 minutes. If we lose communication with it for 15 minutes once EW is turned off, we'll continue moving. An aerial drone will fall or fly away, and that's it, it's lost but we can wait and then start moving again. The military says the war is becoming so robotized that in six months to a year, the unmanned system industry could change beyond recognition. But the question is, who will master these new technologies faster? <laughs>